Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to download and install Octane Renderer Demo. Now that's something you'd think that wouldn't be actually that hard to do, but I've actually found that's actually a lot trickier than you'd think. It's just a little bit off, but very quick steps. It's going to be a fast tutorial. So to start, you're going to want to go to Octane.com. Just type in Octane um, 3D or just, uh, I'm going to have this link here in the description of this video, so you'll be able to use that too. But basically, just navigate your way to this website, scroll, or click. make sure you click Render. So you're going to go to the website, click Renderer, then Octane Renderer. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is what the home page would look like. So you're going to click Renderer, Octane Renderer. Boom, you're right here. Go down and click Download Demo. And then you're going to choose your version. You're going to click this here. I'm going to use the Windows version for this tutorial, but you can use Mac or Linux. Then you're going to go View List of Plugins. And for me, this is going to be for Cinema 4D. So we're going to do that right there. Click Cinema 4D and then download Windows R13 through R16. Click that right there. This is for Windows, not Mac, but you can download Mac. I'm just doing the Windows version. Once we got that, this is where things get a little bit more tricky. We're going to open up our folder, and we are going to go to our Downloads folder. Here we go. Here's Downloads and Folder, and among other things, here is the Octane um, demo. I also downloaded the Octane Render demo, but here is the actual plugin for Cinema 4D. You just need this. You don't need to download the Octane Renderer for it to work. This is the full package for Cinema 4D, the demo there. So what you're going to do is you can leave this right here, but there's something we have to do before we go to the install process. And this is what will get throw a little people up a few times, and this is what it did for me. So it took me a little bit to actually figure out. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to open Cinema 4D. Let that launch there. Loading a little bit. I have a few plugins installed, so it takes a little bit to open it up. But uh, here we go. We're going to go to Edit preferences and then we're going to click open preference folder now it's going to bring this place here we're going to open double click our plugins folder and we're going to click right here on this is on windows 10 as well and i'm going to do control c or you can just right click and do copy now we've copied this directory i click there once to light it up and then just drug over to light it all up and then i right click and do copy and that's how i got the directory so it's okay now i can just close this out and I can close Cinema 4D, and I'm going to double click now the Octane Render. Make sure you close Cinema 4D. You don't want to run this while Cinema 4D is still open because we're going to be injecting it into Cinema 4D. I'm going to double click this. Yes. We're going to click Next. We're going to accept those terms of use. You can read this if you want. And this is the spot that will get you. Do not use this default directory. If you let it go through there, it just plain will not work with Cinema 4D. I do not know why it does this. It creates a whole new folder under program slash 86 files at Cinema 4D. Do not know why it does that. That is the big issue. You're going to delete this, and you're going to either control V or right click paste to put in this directory in the plugins folder that we now have it set. And you are just going to click next. And it is going to say, this folder already exists. Would you like to install the folder anyway? And you're going to click yes. Now you get to choose the version. I have R16, so I'm going to use Cinema 4D R16. You can use R15, 14, 13, whichever one you want. But pick one of those and click next. And it's going to give you a little breakdown. Yes, I'm going to go to these user files. Yes, Octane. Yes, 16. Install. It's going to run through that, and we're done. We're going to click finish. There we go. You can delete this now if you want, this old uh, render, or you can just keep it there. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to launch Cinema 4D. And it takes a little bit to boot up, but we're going to get there. And here we go. And you'll notice Octane is now right up here. So I'm going to make a cube. Put that, like, right here. I'm going to make a plane. Put that, like... There. I'm going to go down to Octane, choose my live viewer. I'm just going to dock this up here, uh, give myself a little bit of space. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to do Objects uh, Octane Area Light. And I'm just going to pull this up. It always blows in the Z direction, and there you go. Octane. It is a demo. That's why we have these lines here and this little kind of um, cog-looking thing. 
But, yep, there we go. Thank you for um, watching this tutorial. I hope that I helped you out. This is how you download the demo. And uh, please let me know if you liked it. Um, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment uh, if you'd like to be more descriptive than that. Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, hope this helped. See ya.